the climate is changing. Occasionally we have a period of time when the storms are much more intense. And we're seeing storms when they come to be far uh, stronger than they would have been historically. The wave action is, is heavier and I think it's partly because of the, uh, the rising tides. The main breakwater in our main economic area of town in 2004, it was taken by the sea and was replaced, at least the, the most damaged part of it. That lasted until around 2008, but then in 2008 and 2009, starting in October, there was damage. Again in December there was damage, and again in January there was damage. In one year there were a series of intense storms, and the following year, not quite as bad, but still more intense. So now we are in the process of replacing it. The construction now, the uh, holes are deeper, uh, and uh, not only do we have the cribbing itself and the back cribbing, but the armor stone against the front of it. So all that has made it stronger. It's supposed to be able to deal with a more serious storm than we've had up to now. In many cases, people are just going to have to move away from the seashore because of the costs involved. The town is only a 465 people at the present time, and we really do not have the financial wherewithal to replace it. The breakwater we're putting up there at the present time is costing $900,000. Our share is $86,000, which is a lot for a small town. If it goes again, we won't be able to deal with it. If you see the ocean in its fury, you see the storms off here when they're really wild, you know that it's no good uh, trying to protect against that in the long haul. You better start planning for some alternate kind of uh, living accommodations. Our main concern is to highlight the problem of the small town trying to protect the coastline. Thank you.